Welcome to day two of C10 Nationals in Nashville, Tennessee at the Nashville Super Speedway. We're gonna start it out here in Vendor Row. We got a ton of stuff to look at, but we're gonna kick it off with the Dooley Pace Truck and the real Indy Pace Truck built by Bullock Body Works. So first up on Vendor Row, you walk into the Dooley and the Indy Pace Truck. So Bullock's Body Works built this over in Tennessee. Actually, we're in Tennessee right now. I'm used to being in Florida. But uh, Johnny Banana's been hitting me up. We finally got these trucks together. This truck is super sweet. If you check out the interior, they did a leather, have like a distressed insert to kind of match like that OG uh, interior, the gray interior for GM with a smooth leather outside. Coming over here, they got some killer billet specialties with a huge 16 inch brake rotor from Little Shop of Manufacturing. Crazy, crazy brake setup. But look at the rear, they got the rear tubbed out, look at this freaking rim, dude. I mean, it does not do it justice. This truck is sick. So cool that they got to park these trucks right next to each other. Now, if you head over here, we got new creations, our friend Jason Modes over there. And then we got the CK booth right here, Summit Racing right here. And we got Dave's truck. So this truck was covered up yesterday when I was trying to show you guys, but he gave me a ride in this thing and it is nasty. I'm gonna try to uh, talk with him today. See him walking around. I want, I want him to just kind of give you guys a rundown of what he's done to this truck. It is freaking nuts. And we're definitely gonna get him to, to fire it up. I love this truck, 65 C10. I showed you guys this truck yesterday. Scott Mason built this one. It's kind of the, I mean, this is the first show that it's been to. He did a great job with this one. I mean, I just, I love the engine bay in this one. He did a killer, killer job. And across from the square body booth, we got Joey's truck. I did a walk through around with him at Southeastern Truck Nationals this year. This truck is sick. He went on the power tour with us. This is the guy that enabled me to get my long hauler pass. So he is the man. And we got Dave Fricky's 1965. It's got a LT in there with a new look. He's got some new wheels coming for it. And he's got this fresh Fotina paint job. Let me know what you guys think of this. He went with the buckets on the inside. He had a bench in here and kind of redid it a little bit. But man, he does a great job with his builds. Let's go check out the square body booth. They've been freaking slammed this morning, which is awesome. But we're posted up behind them. Here's Rick's truck. He just did a, let's see, stereo system, something else. I can't remember. Maybe we'll chat with him a little bit. It's cool. He's got the matching bag there for the seat. Of course, the killer MTW-22s. OG paint. Truck's awesome. And of course we got Sarah's truck over here. We did a walk around with her at SETN. We got yellow jackets all over the place too. Truck's been running good other than it lost AC going to Southeastern Truck Nationals thanks to Mr. Derek Bloom. And we got our boys at AMD. How y'all doing? Hey man. Doing good, doing good. Doing good. Go check out the trucks, man. Now these are all, and this is an AMD sponsored build, right? The, everything but the cab. Everything but the cab. Well, we'll uh, we're gonna do a walk around, man, see how it looks. <laughs> Built by Harrison's Rod Shop. Oh, excuse me. This was at, I think this was a giveaway truck. I think they gave this one away. Super killer setup in here, just very clean. You got vintage air. Willwood brakes. I mean, even look at the steering knuckle. It's just, this guy does some killer work, man. Nice paint, very nice paint. This one looks like a lot of fun. Okay, so this is kind of a special truck here. This is an original Choo Choo Customs truck. So this truck came out of the Atlanta area. They only made 200 of these. So the Choo Choo Customs would get these trucks. They would do this crazy paint on them. And this is the Roland Rebel. They got slosh tubs in here with his firewall filler panels. Everything's painted to match the exterior paint scheme. 
Checking out the interior with, with TMI. Freaking so nuts, dude. And you got the classic louvered back window. Truck is super, super cool. I got a nice Willwood brake set up in there too. Of course, we got slosh tubs in the house. <laughs> you guys doing good today? We are. Yeah. Having fun. Awesome. Little toasty. Hopefully it cools off later, but it probably won't. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Good to see you. <laughs> of course, he makes some really killer parts. Literally. And I think he just came out with a tub for, yep, 67 to 72 Fords. Here they are. I heard about it, but I haven't seen him yet. So he is making all kinds of stuff. Making our way down here. We got all kinds of goodies. You got some more big parts over here, stripe kits, some small parts. That's one of them uh, autocross trucks here with a little horsepower in there. Oh, it's got a Cadillac motor, okay. Look at that wheel setup, dude. Dude, that is clean. Look at the look at the fuel lines on that. That is nice. Got a Ford nine inch rear. Very nice work. Okay, you got the fuel fill right there. That is super sweet. Jesse, what's up, man? Hey, man, how are you? Good, brother, how are you? Real good. Level 7, building some crazy stuff, man. Oh, he makes the new brake assemblies for OBSs and I think square bodies, but you can get into, look at this unit, dude. Freaking, freaking crazy, man. Look at these cigarette lighters, you seen these? No, man. It's a faux cigarette lighter for 67 to 72. Nice, like dude. Lighter, it's USB. Yeah. We just came out with those. Dude, that's awesome. Right. Yeah, and th so th is this the OBS setup? This is not. The OBSs aren't done. This is still 6772. Oh, okay. And then our square body complete assemblies yeah. are in production right now. So they'll, oh, okay. be, they'll be shipping in just a few weeks. Yeah. Yep. You guys are like rolling out stuff all the We're time. We're trying man. our best. Man. Yeah, yeah. I love it, dude. Yeah. That's awesome. You guys are doing good stuff for Thank the truck you. community for sure. <laughs> yeah, man. We'll see you soon. Take the battery box yeah, good dude. Makes some really cool stuff. Last time I talked to him, he was doing a an original 454 OBS truck with an LS3 and a BMW 10-speed transmission and trying to make all that work. I got to talk to him about that, see if he finished it. Look at this freaking square body. That paintwork is nuts. Very clean interior. I love those inserts on the seats. I wonder if it's uncomfortable, though. That's super nice on air nice tubs air horn i need one of those man for the dually got some stuff over here more interior parts we got some oh this is brother's truck parts okay ordered quite a bit of stuff from these guys before some killer wheels here's a short bed conversion that's sweet Another brother's truck right here. Oh, they got a Detroit Speed setup right here if you want to go to coilovers on your square body, 73 to 87. Hmm, maybe something that I could look at for the old Blazer. Okay. Whoa. Got some more stuff down here. I'm kind of walking down the center of Vendor Row. There's vendors on either side of me, so we're gonna hang a hang a right up here and go see our friends over at Sweet Patina, see what's going on over there. And then there's a killer second gen C10 I wanna go show you guys. Love that paintwork, man. Very sanitary. It's just classic. Oh my goodness, look at the bed. It's like perfect. <laughs> wow.
That's awesome. We got some uh, signs over here. You know, we got some Chevy parts, grills, bumpers, that kind of stuff. We got Brian's Motorsports. Uh, visited their shop over in uh, Tennessee when we went to SETN. They have a shop party every year. We got a lot of crazy stuff going on. Sells a ton of wheels, ton of aftermarket parts for like everything. Like even on your like side-by-sides and stuff. Got the shop truck right here with a scooter. I used to want one of these Honda Ruckuses, man. They look super fun. But I like to go a little faster than 30 miles an hour. <laughs> this thing's pretty wild. It's got a baseball bat shifter. Cup holders in the seats. Perfect dash, dude. Perfect dash. Some nice Dakota digital gauges. Looks like they're RTX gauges with a white face. <laughs> it's like a barrel. And they got the fifth wheel or the uh, gooseneck. Super cool. Got some more trucks over here, a couple of wheels. Nice round eye for sale. So they have overflow parking over here now, and we haven't even made it over to the show area, which is that way. So we'll see how all that goes. Thought that was gonna fall. No limit engineering. They got some really insane stuff. Square body cross member right here. The full shebang. Full chassis. I mean, just tons of stuff. Look at that freaking frame brace. It's nuts. Yeah, this was the fuel lines we saw on that uh, second gen C10 over there. It's very cool. Okay. I'm going to walk up here a little bit. I see a nice blazer I want to check out. Looks like it's a four wheel drive on some 22 inch transits. It's a nice truck right there. Look at this blazer, dude. Eat beef. 45K. Could be yours today. It's really clean, though. It looks like some fresh paint. Can we see the interior? Not really. It looks almost original. Maybe, maybe the seats have been recovered. The tailgate's definitely been painted. I don't know if you can see it in there. That's cool though. I like the white 22s. It matches the top. It looks good. Let's see who we got here. Some metalworking tools. Stu's fabrication. Okay, that's a pretty gnarly chat. Look at the top of this uh, tank here. Billet CNC machine. Very nice welds. Oh, it's uh, hydraulic. That's what we're talking can we just, about. Can you release the drive controller? So you got hydraulic the shocks, which can get freaking gnarly, man. Well, here's your setup right here. You got your pump, the shocks, your valve body, tank, and all that stuff. And you got a bead roller. <laughs> Some nice work over here. Very clean 67. Look at those hood hinges. Those things are gnarly. Got some nice parts on there. Budnick wheels. Excuse me. That's super nice. Yeah, man. Yeah. What's up, man? How you doing? Oh, sweet. Well, that fella said he thinks he jumped timing coming in on his 69, so 
that's uh, not good. <laughs> Hope he gets that figured out because nothing sucks more than coming to a show and then not being able to get home. Ask me how I know. So we got a CS77 CST. Love these freaking hubcaps, man. Beautiful interior. Looks like an AC truck. Lovely patina. Lovely patina. Oh, it's a very nice OBS here. That paint is killer, man. Super clean. Got some nice color match bed liner. I'd like to do this in the uh, in the dually. Just go with a bed liner, throw the stuff in there, forget about it. Another nice OBS right here. Very cool. JHG Johnson's horse powered over here. I'm sure all these got something special on it. <laughs> got a double carb set up here, man. Often Hauser valve covers. I'm sure there's some other goodies on there from them. Oh, I saw this truck ripping down the track yesterday. Got the uh, Pro Charger on it. Freaking gnarly. Power Tour truck from 22. Very cool. Nice, Jimmy. Here's all the info on it. That, oh, look at that old school air setup there. Probably works better than my vintage air. Beautiful, beautiful truck. What we got here? Another second gen. Four wheel drive. Heck yeah, man. Keep on moving here. I saw this truck rolling yesterday. It's really cool. Oh, I just missed a nice dually right there. A plus rod and custom.com with a K. Got some trucks stacked up. Now oh, we got sweet patina over here with old Mississippi mud. First time I got to see this truck. What's up, buddy? How you doing? <laughs> Looks like he's getting ready to do some walking around. This is the first time I actually got to see the truck, man. C10 Nationals 2023. That's right, yeah, man. Yeah, buddy, garage and day, DBT. Day, yeah. <laughs> day two. Day two. I already put day one out yesterday. I know. I saw this morning. I woke up. And you know what? It makes me feel inferior, people. This guy's working so hard for you guys. I just went to bed at like 2 a.m. It's all good. I've been there. Yeah. I used to do that. Yeah. But you getting I ready? To, I didn't even film yesterday. I'm yeah. Today, on. today. Well, this is the day to do it, man, for sure. But yesterday, record attendance. Really? Yeah. Okay. Out of any other C10 National Friday or Saturday. Oh, okay. Can you okay. That? No, man. I mean, that's dope. It felt that way, though. There were yeah. a ton of people here. Yesterday. Yeah, this is my first time here, man. So just like experiencing it's been yeah. it's been awesome so far. Well, you got autocross, drag yeah. racing. I know. spent a lot of time at autocross yesterday. I, I mean, and I'm not even like a vendor guy, but yeah. like the Midway, this is pretty impressive. This is very impressive. Yeah, I love really the setup. Cool. It's not, it's got a good flow, man. Me too. You getting ready to, to step out? Could we do a little walk around in Mississippi it, mud? Let's do okay, it. I'm yeah. going to get you set up here. Hang on All one man. second. Just wrapped up the walk around with Robbie. If you guys want to see that, you'll have to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. So we got that video dropping very, very soon. But that'll be its own featured video. So next, I'm actually going to do a walk around with Mike and his 68 C10. This is a great story. This guy only lives an hour from me. And uh, let's catch up with him and see what it's all about. Just met up with Mike and walked around his 68 C10. Did a full interview. He gave me a full breakdown of what he did, the parts he used, and how much time he spent on this build. Just an absolutely crazy, crazy piece. I love this truck. This is like goals for me right here. But you guys got to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be dropping that video later, just like Mississippi Mud. So let's keep walking around and seeing what we get into here. Oh, we got Koi's, Koi's wheels over here set up today. You could literally walk out of here with a new set of wheels. I actually wouldn't mind taking home a set of these transits. 
Oh, they got the CST, like the, the Delmo style. Look at this. The CST style 22s, those are so sick. They got black ones too. I haven't seen those before. And they got the Rally. That is super cool, man. Oh, these are just bolted in. I didn't know that. I thought that was all machine one piece. Oh, that is bolted in, yeah. That's super cool. We'll walk over here, see our friends at New Creations. They always got something cool for us. Like, the first thing I notice on this OBS is these freaking wheels, dude. Look at these. Oh, man, those are sick, dude. I haven't seen those before. They're a set of race lines. That paintwork is crazy. Beautiful truck, man. Oh, it's clean, just like a stock drivetrain here. Got the sport mirrors. Nice, dude. Just spoke with Jason, man, and uh, they had a fiasco coming up here. He lost uh, lost these uh, 2008 Duramax, had some issues, and he got a 48-foot trailer, but they made it. This is a nice 68. Looks like an OG kind of setup, CST caps, CST truck, got the buddy buckets in here. Very clean. This big tin is awesome, dude. This is like, uh, I believe this is like the original block and it's a, it's a big boy. It's a 454, but look at how sanitary this engine bay is. The truck is crazy, man. Love the wheels, love the interior. I mean, they freaking knocked this one out of the park. You get the cover truck on CK Magazine. That's always cool to drop that in the seat. Beautiful truck. Got a nice patina ride over here. So Jason's gonna be set up at uh, C10 Fall Revival, which we're going to. Always oh, got a Vortec in there. And he said he's gonna try to have the biggest booth he's ever had. So last year he had over 20 trucks, so he's gonna try to double that. That'd be pretty wild, man, to have a show win a show. It's a cool truck right here too. Still got some like metal flake in the paint. That's cool. Oh, it's one of the frames that he's done too. Coilover setup, four link in the rear, some big old fat tires. I mean, dude, look at these things. What are these like 500s, <laughs> 405s? They're huge, man. He's got coilover setup in the front. Looks like a uh, second or third gen C10 frame. Probably 73 to 87 from the front frame horns. It's a cool setup there. A couple other trucks over here. I believe, I know the Suburban's his, or he's built it, worked on it. I think he did this one too. I'm not 100% sure. <clears throat> Got like a matte white paint job on that. Super cool. The Suburban is what's up, man. This thing is gnarly. Saw this over at, uh, excuse me, sir. Saw this over at SETN this year. I think it's freaking awesome. All right, so uh, yeah, we're right over here. Kind of started walking down that area this morning. We got the dually and the pace truck right here. And then we got one more aisle to walk down. I want to show you guys some trucks over here. So this is the C10 Nationals giveaway truck. I did bring my hitch with me, so I could just uh, rent a trailer and throw this on the back if I win this thing. Can you see in there? Dark tent, got a bed liner. Torque thrust, old school, needs a drop. Don't have any information on it. But it would be cool to have one. Another clean one right here. It's got a 454 in there. Cerakoted headers.
very cool. So over here we got like merchandise and whatnot. They got some other vendors kind of set up inside these garages. And then they got a couple more vendors down here, but I wanted to show you guys the CPP truck. This thing is freaking awesome, dude. Love the color combination. 69 or 70, vintage air, billet front runner, big nasty freaking LS motor. Some, look at look at CPP's brake kit. That's a 16 inch rotor right there. The thing is crazy. American Legend wheels, TMI interior with the yellow stitch to match. You got a carbon fiber gauge bezel. Freaking awesome. <laughs> I don't think this one's been running on the track. Let's look at the tires. No, it's too clean for that right now. Get another shot of this. Might be a thumbnail. Come over here. This is them showcasing all their parts and pieces. Got a couple of their trailing arm kits, front cross members, brakes, master cylinders, small parts, boosters, spindles coilovers. I mean, you name it, they got it, man. I got a, quite a few CPP parts on the 67 C10 and it's uh it all works very well. Coming out here GSI set up. We saw this truck yesterday. I think it's sweet. These guys sell full frames. You can do like bolt-on kits. They have cross members, rear halves. Um, or if you want to go with a full shebang, they got coilovers, bags, pretty much whatever you want, they can build it. They built a one-off frame for my buddy Angel, who's doing a square body LBZ swap on a short bed, regular cab, original diesel truck. So one of one there, that'll be a sweet truck when it comes out. And they got some like show trucks under here too. I didn't even know they had this. This is the spot to be in. Oh, there's a, let's look at this dually over here. This is sweet. Super nice interior. I think this motor's got some goodies in there. Just judging by that intake VTR. Some Brian Thule racing parts. Oh, he's got new Hydro Boost lines. That's probably what I should do. <laughs> Heading back the other way, kind of came in like halfway on this one. Sweet Suburban. Looks like them Bedwood fellas are doing an install video. Showing how easy it can be. And they have Willwood over here. I mean, Willwood is a staple in the industry. They got freaking all kinds of stuff, dude. I mean, just look at these setups. How sick would this be? Oh boy. Ooh, what's this, the uh, carbon fiber? That is loud. Look at the freaking, <laughs> this thing's huge, dude. What's up, man? Good.
crazy. Cool thing about Willwood though, man, is they can do literally like any color you want. So they have like, a, you said they're different color options right there. It's a couple. I mean, dude, you can literally just whatever color you want. They got setups for all kinds of brakes. I mean, dude, like you can't even, look, look at how big this is, man. This is, it's just nuts. Got American powertrain over here, do transmissions. Some good stuff. So this is the end of Vendor's Row. Saw the whole thing. So now I'm gonna go back to the Square Body booth tent. It's kind of like my home base at this event today. Make a sandwich, chill out for a bit. And then we're gonna check out some more trucks. And we're back. Had a little break at the truck and was able to make myself a sandwich. Cause you guys know when I do these shows, I always have some sandwich stuff with me. It's a nice little Square Body here. OG paint long bed. How you doing? There was a truck that I saw over here that, oh man, it's not over here. Shoot, all right, I have to go find it. We'll check out what's going on. Oh, they got the uh, like rear, that's what's going on here. That's supposed to be on the, on the bumper. Any who's. Oh, it's cool, it's like an old school battery. Oh man, this one's like bone stock. Oh, here it is. Okay, so this is, all right, Dave Fricky told me about this truck. So this dude uh, works at PPG. So this paint is PPG paint and it is freaking unbelievable. This is the first time seeing this truck up close. I believe this one, this, one, this is won a couple of awards was at Triple Crown last weekend or the weekend before. And oh my goodness, it's a beautiful 67 C10. Look at the paintwork. I really wanna do the trim like this on my 67, but since it didn't come with it, I'm kinda of like torn. Oh, I just love the color. Look at these wheels too, man. That is a sweet truck. Oh, this is a god. Untouched 6970 C10. Just love that patina, man. I love this color too. Three on the tree. Very cool. Got a nice square body rolling out there. There's quite a few more trucks out here today than there was yesterday. Let's walk down here. I want to see the Maze Boys blazer they just told me about. All right, so this isn't the blazer, but allegedly this guy does burnouts. This thing is nuts, dude. Oh, it's got a the super tire on there. Look at that. Doing burnouts with that. Oh my goodness. This thing's crazy, dude. Stumbled upon Jamie Mays' Suburban. This thing's awesome, man. He road trips this thing, daily drives it. It's got a little LS motor in there, some US mag wheels, some fresh interior. So we're out here in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. They live over uh, Georgia somewhere. I forget where they live. Sorry guys. But anyway, they drive this down to Daytona, man. So as a road trip truck right here. And they built this 77 K5 Blazer. Crazy story on this. So this is a one owner truck. It was stolen in the late 80s. They recovered it in the early 90s and the owner held on to it for a while. So Jamie and his dad Andy got a hold of it and they went to town on it, man. Bringing it back to basically a concourse level restoration, making it as original as possible. So this truck, they, they wet sanded the frame, so it's all smoothed out. Everything is touched on this. Brand new interior, those are the original buckles on the seats. The, the mirrors, these are the original mirrors. When the owner bought this truck, he put the Dumbo mirrors on it, and he saved these. So he had them for 40, 50 years, and they put those back on the truck. 
course, it's a yellow trim package. The owner saved the original brochure from the purchase. That came out of the dealership the day he signed the paperwork for it. Here's some pictures of it. Back in the day. I mean, this truck is beautiful, dude. And then over here, you got the build, the build sheet for it. So this was a $7,900 truck back in the day. There's all the options. There's a build sheet. That is just awesome, man. This is a killer representation. This is basically a time capsule. This truck is so sweet. K5 Blazer, 1977, four wheel drive, beautiful truck. Oh, I actually got their card. So if you're looking for anything, Maze Coat, this is their information. These guys do some crazy work. They normally build like more high-end hot rod custom stuff. And this was their first attempt, not first attempt, this was their basically first go at doing kind of like an OG restoration, bringing it back to original. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that story with you guys. I thought that was a really, really cool one. Moving on down, let's check these trucks out down here. Ooh, this is a nice OG paint one. Really clean swap right here. Got a nice round eye Suburban. That's a 79 coming up here. What kind of wheels we got? Got some Detroit. Sweet, man. Nice 3100 here. Got a Duramax swap over here. Square Max. That's cool, man. I'd love to do like a Duramax swap on the old Dooley. Got a flat bit over here. Oh, dude, look at this blazer. Sorry, Jimmy. Got some old school torque thrust. That paint's really nice on this one. Oh, they did a 60 Bel Air dash in this, dude. That is sick. Nice interior. Look at the center console. They smoothed it out. So that's normally like a, a leathery looking material, but they smoothed that all out. You got AC, you got power brakes, you got these really nice hood hinges with actuators. The old school, looks like a LT1 or LT motor, could be wrong, but it is fuel injection. And you got the old school pancake compressor, 79. This is a killer GMC over here. It's a really nice square body right here too. Man, look at this thing. I love that color combo. That is sick. It's just old school, clean and simple, man. Hey, I got that cooler. Got another 79. It's got some nice work done to this engine bay over here. Got a little LS swap action, smooth firewall. Some smooth tubs, probably slosh tubs. Did a good job on that. Clean dually right here. Aww. All right, this thing's pretty wild over here. Look at this framework, man. This thing is like so clean. That is super nice. 
Very clean interior. Some big boys. This thing is wild, dude. Now, when I think of a lifted OBS, this is what comes to mind. That's cool. Hey, I know this truck. Hey. What's up, bro? I've seen that truck before. Yeah. How you doing, man? Not too bad. I'm much so. Pretty good. You got the magazine in there? Or no. multiple magazines? No, I didn't even bring it this time. Oh, come on, man. Love this truck, dude. Just got out with Richard for a little bit. I shot this truck at SETN. We did a, a little walk around. Annabelle. The truck is, uh, is killer, man. I freaking love it. Keep moving over here. Got another 64, 65. Love this freaking paint job, dude. That's some nice work right there. Very cool. Just one of this guy staying at our hotel too. And this guy is as well. We're back over in the uh, the pits for the autocross area. Oh, we got a caddy motor in here. Okay. Some really nice paint. Look at that mirror. Freaking seats are sweet. Got some Dakota Digitals right there. That's what's up. It is a very clean square body. And a nice bed liner. It's looking good. You sell that thing yet, man? I've been working on it. It's got, <laughs> it's got uh, quad tips right there for the Oh, does it really? Oh, dude, I didn't even see that. It's got a little hideaway through it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you won't get in trouble, right? <laughs> That's cool, man. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That's nice, dude. Yeah, this thing is done like, done right, you know? Yes, sir, we'll see you soon, man. Very cool, we're working a deal. Man, this truck over here, this guy's been driving around, ripping around the track. This thing is sick, dude. Got some hood scoops. Sweet man. Here are the pros doing the ride alongs. Okay, dude, I love this freaking blazer. I think it's so sweet. Just 
just walking down this aisle here, saw this truck. I was like, oh my goodness, this thing is beautiful. Look at this thing, dude. So I was looking at this, and then I saw this, and I was like, oh my God, look at this truck, dude. That is crazy. Look, they molded the cow, so there's no cow here. They blended that all together. Obviously molded the hood in right here and then cut this hood out because normally the hood line would come down here. So that's all one piece now. Beautiful interior. Oh, like totally custom dash. Raised bed floor, look at that woodwork. Killer setup, Texas heat, airlift performance. Looks like you got a Boyd cell right here. Ford nine inch rear. Man, yeah, they molded the tailgate. Molded the bumper in there too. You got the side exit exhaust down there, man. Some nice shot wheels with Will Woods. This truck is pretty wild, man. Just look at this thing. And I seen a Blazer, man. I love these first gen Blazers. It's hard to find them in two wheel drive too. Check out this Suburban. Like that. Love me a full top blazer. What you got for the motor in here? Looks like a little 350. Heck yeah, man, got AC. All right, I found an example of what they did here. So on that truck over there, they molded these together, cut right here, molded this. They also molded the front. This is a whole separate piece right here. And then obviously in the back, they molded in the tailgate. And there's a whole bunch of little parts and pieces that they did to it. But on this one, they shaved the drip rail, cleaned it all up, man. It's a clean truck, man. <laughs> You're welcome, dude. We got a 72 right here. Super clean OBS too. Looks like we got people stacking up over here. Probably gonna be the, doing the burnout contest soon. Let's uh, wander over here and see what's going on. All right, so we are behind the barricade. So they're gonna be on the other side of that and it's just packed with people literally everywhere, dude. So we're not gonna get a good shot of this. gonna be pretty nuts man That's pretty cool. It's like packed over there though, and I can't see anything. I need to start getting media passes at these shows so I can get better shots for you guys. But I mean, they're doing burnouts. We all know how that goes down. So we're gonna go check out some more trucks while they got that going on. Got a pretty gnarly cat eye here. Probably gonna do burnouts. 
so they still, I think they still have the dyno running over here. So this is the same guy that runs the dyno over at the Power Tour. Oh, that's a sick OBS right there. That's another nice one. That's sweet. Yeah, they got a square body on there right now. See what he made. 442 power, 497 torque, Mule Town Mobile Dyno. They're out here in Tennessee. It's a super clean square body. Looks like a big block in there. Capped off the AC. Come on, man. You gotta have AC. All right, I got like sidetracked with everything. But the sun is like right in my face, too. But they're doing the awards now. So I'm hanging out here to see what happens, see who wins what. But also, they're giving away a truck. I want to walk over here and get some shots of it. But I got the hitch for the dually. So if I win it, I'll be towing the sucker home. So Richard Hopkins with that. Congratulations. Just one best. 60 to 66 the one we sh we looked at earlier that truck is so sick dude all right so jamie mays also with that yellow 77 we looked at earlier jamie and andy they built that truck they just won best blazer freaking awesome and then i think we got another winner standing right next to me all right so jody that owns this truck it's fricky's friend called it he got top 10 and he's walking up there right now dude jody congratulations from Jody Reed, another top 10 award, a 68 Chevrolet. Rob Jowse, J-O-W-S. All right, awesome, thank you. Anthony Willis. Anthony, come on down. It's a 2001, the newest one on the list. Anthony, where are you? Is he here? That is cool, man. Will, I thought it was Will. Super cool. Anthony, all right, we are moving on. That's awesome. That's another a nice hardware, dude. Thomas. Newchester, yep. ladies and Going gentlemen, for your classic parts of America C10 Nationals presented by Chevrolet Performance Truck of the Year, the 1953 Chevy. Dennis Quinn, come on down. You are the winner, and he's wearing the hat. Got to represent classic parts of America hat. C10 Nationals. That is, uh, you may need some help. You got yeah, not yet. Got the guitars on there. I love it. Where's Just? Come on, Dennis Quinn, your truck of the year. Give it up. Here go, Dennis. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, that thing's heavy. <laughs> so this is the winner the road, of the last the blind chicken. show truck in Texas. So he's going to draw the winner for this giveaway truck. This, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Who's ready to win that truck? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Who wants to win a truck? <laughs> Stephen Whitrow. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, Canadian, man. Canadian, it's Ontario. Get out of here. Get out of here. That was one of the Canadians they called out yeah, earlier in the, cab, in the so presentation. You buy a cab in Texas, but didn't want to bring it back to Canada because of customs and everything, so we worked it. Da, 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 da. Now you got yourself a whole truck. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Wittrup, give me your ID. So that was a lot of fun. I did not win the giveaway truck. And now everybody's lining up to go on the Speedway because they're gonna do a Speedway cruise, but I'm gonna miss out on that because we're gonna get in the trucks and head back to the hotel, grab some food, man, I am beat. But if you guys haven't been to C10 Nationals, frick, hey, you guys gotta come out, man. They do it in Utah, Texas, and Tennessee.
So they got it all over the country. But I appreciate you guys tuning in, checking this show out. I appreciate you watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video.